Hello and welcome back to Story Retold. It is really hot this weekend that I am filming uh, here in Washington State. It's supposed to be up to 110 today. Uh, luckily, thankfully, I have air conditioning in my house, which is working really hard. And uh, so we're going to try to survive uh, as best as we can. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I'm I'm going to be fine. I'm just wearing a summer outfit themed for this show. And I am actually wearing this necklace. Thank you, Dennis and Debbie, for this. This is actually from Hawaii because this game has a... Actually, these are some of the shells right here. I forget how to pronounce them. The ku, cuckoo shells. I don't remember what they're called. But these are itty bitty little tiny shells that are strung together. They're pretty amazing and they feel super fragile. So I'm going to be as careful as I possibly can. Uh, let's go ahead and get into playing the creature of Kapu Cave. Woo, there we go. Okay. Um, it, I've been playing this like a week in between each gameplay. So I am not quite remembering what I'm supposed to be doing. I did try turning up my volume. If you, you guys think that the audio is good for my voice it's more important to hear my voice over the audio before the game right now there's just static what was i doing let's back away from the <sighs> okay so that's right okay we talked to dr quigley cam on the radio but she couldn't hear us we have a clue to where she might be and we called that number let's call frank and joe because they might have some resources to help us figure out how to locate her and hello Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Well, after I finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim had arranged for me, I started driving. Whoa. So what did Dr. Kim say when you told her somebody or something had torn up her camp? Frankly, I'm not sure she heard me. The radio connection we had was really bad. In fact, she rattled off the coordinates of where she is now so I could plug them into my GPS, but all I heard was north 19 degrees 20-something. I think she said she was at Green Trigger Rock, but I could be wrong about that, too. I don't suppose you'd happen to have a map of the island, would you? No, but I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll even ask Big Island Mike. I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around his desk. Well, if you find out anything, give me a call. Remember, what Dr. Kim said sounded like Green Trigger Rock. Green Trigger Rock. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. I have a kitty cat down here who really wants attention. Maybe I'll give you some cat cam time, huh? Come here, come in. Here. You're not gonna jump up here? No, you're just gonna rub. Come here. Come up here. Okay, this is, I know, the cord for the phone's right away. Do you want attention or not? Make up your mind. Are you just gonna be all lovey? You're gonna be a, a butthead. <clears throat> this is Dorian. He is purring. I don't know if you can hear me or him. He's purring, but he really wants attention. Uh, it's rare that I keep the office door open here. And uh, I usually kick them out when I am video recording. But all over the house, well, except for my kid who's napping. So, okay, are you done getting love? Yeah, okay. You can go now. Go on. The cats always want attention when I'm busy doing something. All right, so we are Joe Hardy now. And... The UI has changed for the Hardy Boys. Can I change it to something different as the Hardy Boys? Testing, one, two, three. No, only as Nancy, okay. Testing, one. Uh, continue again. I have zero dollars in my wallet. Look at this old phone. Backpack, no necklaces, all right. Let's talk to Hey, the what's up? Think you could explain this try it and trade it system of yours again? Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? 
You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth in Big Island Bucks. You get enough Big Island Bucks, you can buy some fishing gear and bait. You go fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better the bait you buy, the bigger the fish you catch, and the more Big Island Bucks you get. The more Big Island Bucks you get, the more stuff you can do in here. You see, a never-ending circle of fun. Everybody wins. Especially you, right? Since you get to keep everything we trade in? Hey, the more money I bring in, the less I gotta charge customers like you. You can put the shells you find in here. Would you otherwise charge us to go and collect shells and make necklaces? I don't know. Or borrow your fishing line and pole? Whenever you're ready to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Pua, not me. She's in charge of doling out the Big Island box. Okay, Pua. Where is she? Are you familiar with a place in the jungle around here called Green Trigger Rock or something like that? Never heard of it. And I know this island better than anybody. So if I haven't heard of it, trust me, there's no such place. Well, you'd have something familiar to work off of, right? Maybe something that sounds like it? You're always in here working. Don't you ever get to get out and enjoy paradise yourself? Well, if somebody'd catch me six Ulua, I'd have an excuse to drive him into the market in Hilo and on the way back do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. I'm game. What are Ulua? Big shorefish, real good eating. Just so happens I got their favorite food right here. Well, get ready to take a little time off, big guy, because I am on it. Awesome. Okay, so... Okay, it looks like I, I can barely see it, but there's one coin, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need eight Big Island Bucks to go through the entire informational kiosk thing here. It looks really cool. Oh, those turtles. Those. I have a t-shirt. I need to wear the t-shirt with, with that turtle design on it for the next game. And... I need to play this. I may just have to give this a try or two. Takes a big island buck. I have zero bucks. Okay, so in order to be earning... We're going to spend a lot of time in this game just uh, goofing off. <gasps> Whoa, earthquake! Wow. Um, anyways, like I was saying, this is Zippy's. All right, we need to catch six Alua. Uh, I'll be making a lot of uh, necklaces and catching a lot of fish. So, before we talk to Pua, let's see if we can't catch... Oh, wait, you know what? It's always a good idea to go shell searching first because it repopulates every time you visit here. Uh, that was the third one in this location. Maybe it's just the two. Those are the most common. there. Okay. And then you go underneath the bridge. Or underneath the dock, I should say. Alright. This is Zippy's Wiggly Bait. Ew. Alright. I always like to hunt over here. I don't remember if there is a more popular spot catch the Alua, but I actually think I looked it up one time. One Alua down, five to go. And it's actually randomized by a percentage. So which fish you get, uh, the chances of getting it vary depending on the bait and how many times you fish. So you gotta fish a lot in order to get a fish that it's not really based on the location of where you're Throwing your line. Just wait for the bobber to go down. See, this is whatever fish that is. <laughs> Do you have to have a fishing license in Hawaii to go fishing? In Washington State, you do. It's not that expensive, but you have to have a, you have to obey the, the season rules and what you're allowed to catch and what sizes of the fish you're allowed to catch. Um, my father-in-law went fishing not long ago, 
and caught a sturgeon. It was just under, just barely under the max length. And he made us a sturgeon just this last weekend and he ate it and it was wonderful. It was just a generic kind of fish taste and I enjoyed it because it was so simple. You just throw on whatever spices and seasoning you like. And it's fish. It's not strong fishy taste like salmon. Have you guys ever had... See, go ahead and comment below. What fish have you eaten? Uh, not seafood. I mean specifically fish. Let's shoot. I hate when that happens. I lost the bait. <laughs> Do I know how much bait is left in this? I've had different kinds of salmon because it's popular around here in Washington and in Alaska. We get a lot of uh, salmon imported from Alaska. Gotcha. Still really expensive. I have tried tilapia, halibut, cod. Chinook, sockeye, and um, king salmon. Alaskan king. I don't really remember what else. Oh, I had sturgeon, of course. Staring at the tiny little pixels. Oh, yeah. All right, we've only got two. We've got a lot of these guys, but we're going to be making some money. And also, have you ever gone fishing in real life? I've only done it once. Caught nothing. So, it was boring. Because I didn't catch anything. See, when I do a hobby that takes a long time. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I want some sort of progress out of it, or some sort of accomplishment. So I don't know if there's a way to get better at fishing, if you even don't catch anything. Otherwise I don't see it as a super good use of time, but that's just me. I highly respect people who do go fishing. My uncle used to go fishing. Actually, he regularly still goes fishing in Alaska for all kinds of things. Actually, he's, he catches the fish that he, that is used by the big fishermen. Um, okay, so have you guys ever seen uh, Deadliest Catch on like the Discovery Channel? Those uh, crab fishermen. So my uncle buy uh, goes fishes. My uncle fishes for the fish that is used as bait for the crabs that those guys buy. He's one of the many that do that. But of course he also keeps some of the fish that he catches. Like this is the kind of hobby where if you wanted to sit and listen to an audiobook or some music, it'd be perfect. Nice to visit the place I've never been. I wonder if it's worth going to Hawaii in the winter months. I'm not a super fan gotcha. of really hot weather. Just one more. No. Nah. Get out here. This uh, activity 
which is also considered a puzzle to the dev developers. This activity was oh, reused. Oh yeah, Lua number six. Yes. That ought to do it. Was reused from Secret of the Old Clock because that's when the first time you get to go fishing, I believe. All right, it's been a while. Let's collect some more shells. <gasps> Ooh, nice one. Pretty tight. What the? Okay, now it'd be really nice to go scuba diving. I think that needs to be our goal, is to get scuba here. Did we get this one? We did. Alright, underneath the dock. Alright, it doesn't repopulate when we go underneath the dock. Okay. Alright, let's go meet Ua. Unless we can make a necklace. Can we make a necklace? We don't have a... Um, we have this. I think we've got enough to make, like, one necklace. One of the cheap ones. Let's do that real quick. And we'll sell it all to Pua. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, these are so pretty. We've got this one. Ooh, a shark tooth. Oh, okay, so the dancing lizard, I need, I've got enough here. I have this one. I don't have any of these, these, or these pearly ones. So I think I have to buy those though, don't I? Dance of Pele, oh, these these shells, look. I've got these right here. I've got two in underneath my ear right here. Mmm, it's gonna be difficult. Dance of Pele. I don't have this. Oh, nuts. I can't make any. I need to sell these fish. Hey, Joe. Ready for another lesson? Still recovering from the last one. Uh-oh. You did swallow a lot of water out there. Listen, how about we keep that our little secret, okay? Hey, look. Flailing around like a drowning puppy your first time out or two is nothing to be ashamed of. Happens to everybody. Even Frank? Actually, Frank's doing okay. He hasn't come off his board once. Of course, that might change when he actually stands up on it. Frank hasn't stood up yet? Oops, I probably shouldn't have said that. Uh -oh. Look, how about we change the subject? You feel the earthquake? Yeah, wasn't that great? Sure, it was a blast, if you don't count the sheer terror part. I love earthquakes. It's like standing up on a big, huge roller coaster. You're not afraid of tsunamis? Me? Afraid of big waves? Not hardly. Look, until somebody figures out a way to stop earthquakes, they're gonna happen. So I say, why not enjoy them? I tried to dress like her, because uh, I knew she was wearing something of this type of like cami top or whatever, that's why I wore this. Are Frank and I your only pupils right now? Pretty much. You guys are the only excursions Dad's got going this week. I coach some local kids, but they've got finals. How's your dad doing? You know, business-wise. Okay, I guess. I, I mean, we don't live in a mansion or anything, but we got food, we got clothes, dad gets to show off his island, and I get to surf. Far as I'm concerned, we got everything we need. How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? She died when I was 10. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. That's okay, you didn't know. Besides, dad wanted to keep me busy, so he taught me how to surf, something my mom was always dead set against. He also quit working for the pineapple company and went into business for himself. Oh, interesting. She wouldn't have liked that either. So everything kind of turned out for the best. He was working for the pineapple company. What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? I'd rather not say. You'd laugh. So you believe he's real? Look, first the Healy Healy Center closes its doors to visitors and gets real secretive about what it's doing up there. Then something goes wrong with the pineapple crop. Coincidence? I don't think so. I mean, hmm. Connie Okala has shown up before when somebody endangered the islands. Why shouldn't I believe that he's back? He showed up before? When? My dad said that after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, people saw Connie Okala all over the place, including my grandfather. You gonna call my grandfather a liar? I'm saying that sometimes people, especially superstitious people, 
sometimes they see what they want to see. Well, I'm not the least bit superstitious, and I swear to you, I have seen Kane Okala. Now, Amsgray, I gotta work. Ooh, we touched on a sore subject with her. And actually, I need to take a break because my son just woke up from a nap and he's not happy. So I'm gonna take a break and I will be back. Okay, we are back. Um, I switched a few things around in my office, I rearranged a few things here, and I am, it's actually another day <laughs> that I am coming back to this game. It is so hot and it is hitting records in Washington state with the heat. That is crazy this weekend. Um, okay. It, Can't talk, still working, sorry. That's right, we made her mad. So let's go return the Alua to Big Island Mike. And I need to do that anyways because I was afraid of Pua taking the fish instead of Mike, the guy on Mike taking it, so. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Pua says you're a natural. It was Frank's turn to monopolize her time. <laughs> so, how'd you like that earthquake? Frankly, it was kind of scary. Got my heart going, that's for sure. Pele must be mad about something. Oh, here comes the local legend. Pele? Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. Oh. Who are her enemies? People who do bad things to her island, or fail to show her the proper respect, or people she just plain doesn't like. Who knows? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. But enough about Pele. Go! Get outside! You're in paradise! Enjoy! Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it! Wasn't sure you were ready for them, but looks like I'm gonna have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Okay, Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Welcome to my world, Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. <laughs> Okay, great. So we took the good. Okay, he only took the lua. Uh oh, I don't have any money. Oh well. All right. So we need money. Oh, there he goes. He's going. He's leaving. Have to wait. Sound good. Okay. So do I want to go get my money now, or do I want to snoop his space? Maybe we'll just snoop his space. Oh, Big Mike's Corner. Ah, alone at last. The Big Island uh, Surfboard <laughs> Award does awesome. March 5th, delivery from JK. <gasps> Lucky, I'll take that. March 5th. Delivery from JK exclamation point exclamation point. <laughs> Wonder who or what JK is. I like how Joe reads the, uh, the, the punctuation. I can't look at anything else on his desk. I want to. I want to look at his file cabinet. Like that's going to unlock this thing. <laughs> yeah, Joe. All right. Yep. So, if I were Green Trigger Rock, where would I be? Wait a minute. It's hard to read this. Three finger rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Three finger rock. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Nance. Good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are North 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by West 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Hey! Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Hey, Nance, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are North 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by West 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Thank you, Joe. Okay. All 
All right, so we're hunting for Dr. Kim. Uh, wait a minute, no. We have, to, we have to enter those coordinates into the GPS. That's what we have to do. Okay. Um, so, uh, where do we enter new coordinates? Oh, it's already blinking right there, so... Okay, there we go. All right, so we, there we go. 19. The cursor is so small. Like the hotspot area is so tiny. Uh, 42. By west, 155. I think I can hit tab, right? Yeah, if I tab over, I can do 01. Aha, three finger rock, let's go. I have to click on the flag. <laughs> Looks like they look like toes, not fingers. I would rather call this three toes rock. What is that sound? I can't move forward until it's done whispering. A flag! I'm gonna take a baggie. And collect... Whatever that is. Um, can I take a picture of this plant? I don't have a phone camera! Um, you know what? I have my phone. I could take a screenshot of this. Here, let me do that. That's my, like, cheater way of taking notes. I'm not gonna draw this plant. Let me take a picture here. Let's get the phone out of the way. Doo -doo -doo. Taking a picture. Got it. Okay. Between the big trees. Is a dinosaur gonna lunge out of nowhere? Like a, you know, velociraptor. <gasps> now, this is a banana one. Alright. Nancy needs a snack. Have a banana. Maybe they're not ripe yet. They look kind of green. What a cool bridge! Oh, there's a the yellow flag. I want to take a picture of this. Just for reference, because I know that I need to do that. That is a really cool bridge. It doesn't look very trustworthy. Look at how many pools are in this bridge. I want to look down. Can I look down at the river? Bummer. Okay. Hey, her bag, and there's a purple flag. Let's take a picture of this. Okay, get a little baggie. Click that. Can we snoop the bag? No, we can't. That's like prime opportunity here. The snoop. Hello? Are you Dr. Kim? Your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? That's me. Terrific, because if you're Nancy, then you know who I am, and we can skip any further time-consuming introductory rigmarole and get right to work. Sound good? May I ask you a question first? <sighs> Make it fast. We've got a lot of work to do. What are you They're doing up there? Questions. I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But Hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps prey upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... Ah, oh, nuts. Dr. Kim, is something wrong? 
Well, yeah, something's wrong. I no longer have any idea what I'm talking about. And please, just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects, a hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Of course, this was because he was secretly feeding my insects to his snakes. And to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Hmm. Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. What? L what happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Now, let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. I couldn't hear you. You kept cutting in and out. I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. The sooner you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Oh, shoot. I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed your camp. You want to tell her now? <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Quigley! I'm not coming down until you get my clipboard. Well, okay then. The board it is. I'm gonna go all the way back. It's too pain. Click, 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 fast. As fast as you can run, Nancy. Yeah, it would have helped if she uh, communicated to us, or at least tried to communicate via radio when we did. But, you know. Uh, do you think Nancy should clean up the mess? If I tried to communicate with her on the radio again, do you think she would call? She would, you know, like, answer? Back. All the way back. We are trekking. Call this grinding. It's an unnecessary task. But it would have been cool if we could have picked up the clipboard anyways without knowing whether we needed it or not. You know how Nancy likes to collect inventory without even knowing what the purpose is until much later. Quigley? You've got my clipboard. Good. Let me have it. The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? I, I didn't tear it off. Then where is it? I don't know. Nancy, I asked you to get my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? I didn't tear that page off. Wh whoever trashed your camp did. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? When I got there, your camp was a mess. It still is. It's like someone came in and just tore the place apart. Oh. Oh? That's... that's it? Do you have any idea who did it? No. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect and analyze all the data again. Or should I say, you'll have to. What kind of data? You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty each one into a color-coded baggie. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame! We'll be on Oprah, late night talk shows, somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in LA last year. Well, he hasn't produced anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? You're digressing? Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await! Woohoo! Fame and fortune. I've never heard of one before. I was. Famous, but uh, well, she could be the first. That would hit mainstream news. 
wonder if I get cell service out here. Let me call Ned. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Camp Quigley. Take a look at the clipboard and see what it has to say. So there's a vegetation code for the colors. Okay, we, we uh, don't have some of these colors here. Note and identify approximate vegetation. Record code in analysis grid on clipboard. I'm going to have to identify the plants that traps are hanging next to? Yikes. Okay. Place contents of baggy under the microscope. Remove and sort all non-frass objects. This is, these are seeds. These are insect parts. These are frass. That is frass. Um, no weight of frass. Fun fact, by the way. Frass is a very polite term used for droppings. The, the, the question at hand here is trying to figure out how many how many droppings how much frass are insects excreting are they what are they le leaving behind um it could result in data about what they ate and how much and how many of them there are i, I don't really know but um frass is a polite term for this kind of thing and esrb the ratings board here in america uh, we had, her interactive had to disclose, uh, potty talk, you could say, for ratings. Because if you start talking about things like that, it could make the game rated T for teen or even higher, depending on how detailed you get with, um, bodily fluids. And so they went, her interactive went with the most polite term because we, we still want to be, they, they still wanted to be scientific. So they use the word frass. Just fun story. Fun story. Um, we, also, a silly thing. When um, submitting to ESRB, which I've done many times, you have to disclose uh, any sort of bathroom reference. So if Nancy is going to open and close a bathroom door, like in sem several games, and you hear sound effects, you know, like the toilet flushing, that has to be disclosed to ESRB. They're really, really particular. And it could be a very good thing if you are concerned about, if you, if you have kids or concerned about what you are playing, uh, it is counted in ESRB. Note weight of frass and record analysis. Okay, we read that. Most numerous, second most, least, detrit detritus predominance. Okay. Um, okay, result number. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here's how to do it. Put frass sample into empty test tube and add two drops of BQ19. Um, note the color of the sample. Add two drops of that. If it doesn't match, repeat using other possible source materials. Okay, and then we're trying to figure out which, we're trying to label it and check the food source. Okay, um, now what about the other colors though? I don't know, but we should uh, have some fun and call Ned. We haven't really gotten back to him now, have we? We hung up on him earlier for the Hardies. Hello? Hi, Ned. Sorry I hung up on you like that before. Believe it or not, that was the Hardy boys I saw. They're here too. No kidding. Doing what? They're on assignment. They're doing a background check on this local surfer girl. Somebody hired them to check out a surfer? And her father, yeah. They're getting paid to check out a Hawaiian surfer girl while you're camping in the jungle chasing insects for free. Uh, yeah. Nancy, in case you're wondering what that thing you're holding is, it's the short end of the stick. Very funny. <laughs> so what's going on? I went looking for Dr. Kim at this private research facility and found a mad scientist named Dr. Malachi Craven instead. Ever hear of him? No. Is he a bug guy too? He's part botanist, part biochemist. 
But mostly he's a grouch. Yeah. What's he working on? I have a feeling it would be a good idea to find out. Rumor has it that the Healy Healy, that's the name of Craven's research facility, rumor has it that whatever he's doing up there is destroying the local pineapple crop. Yikes! I finally located Dr. Kim, or Quigley as she wants me to call her. What's she like? No, no, wait. Let me guess. She's quirky. Yeah, I mean, she's very smart and very enthusiastic about insects. But for one thing, her voice. It's got this nasally edge to it that's just a little... Like fingers on a chalkboard, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I side with you on that one, Nancy. Oh, he gives hints. How would you feel about giving me a hint or two? I think that could be arranged. I have no idea what the names of all the plants growing by Quigley's traps are. Help! Frank and Joe Hardy probably aren't all that busy. Call them and see if they can help you. Botany was never my strong suit. Sounds good. Thanks. No problem. I hope it helps. So do I. Bye. So I can only make phone calls on this phone. Okay, it's not a smartphone. Let's uh, call Frank and Joe then. Wait, did I get a voice? I did get my voice file. Okay. Hello? Frank? Oh, well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Thought I heard something upstairs. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Okay, so that's Frank talking, and I'm, am I still Nancy now? I could use some help identifying some of the plants that the frost jars are hanging next to. I'll take a look around here, see what kind of information I can dig up. I'll let you know what I find out. Great. Well, that's it for now. Talk to you later. That was an interesting UI switch. Okay. So do I have Frank, or do I have Joe's fish? I got his shells. Um, which one was the... This, all right, this, yeah, oh, okay. Will you talk to me? Hey Frank, how's Joe doing? He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna like sue us or anything, are you? Maybe. I mean, we are friends with this girl whose father is a bigwig attorney back home. Bigwig. You're kidding, right? About our friend's dad? No, but about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. <sighs> That's a relief. The guy who clobbered Joe, what do you think he was doing in your father's office? You know, you sound just like the police. They asked me the same thing. Really? Must be all those cop shows I watch. Like I told the police, I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. Uh... Is it true you'll buy these fish from me? Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Okay, I get one coin for those, two for those, and only one for those. Okay. Okay, what else? What else do you like to do besides surf? Nothing. Oh, come uh -huh. on. You like to ride motorcycles, go to wild parties, pig out on shave ice? What? Tell uh -huh. me. I surf till it gets too dark, I come home, I eat, I go to bed, I get up, I surf till I gotta start teaching, I help my dad, that's it. That's my life. An adrenaline freak like you never does anything wild and crazy? I get all the kicks I'll ever need out there on my board. Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? Long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. 30? Oops. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Need anything else? Okay. Guess I'll get out of your hair. Have fun. Yep, there's the cost right there. Snorkeling gear 30 and I've got what only 12. So what I need to do I need to do a lot of things uh, Do I have bait? I don't know if I've got bait. I probably need more bait All right, so is this I think this is the bait that is needed for the Alua 
would you like to purchase? Yes, I would. So that leaves me four coins left. Ooh, souvenirs. I want to get all of these. It's going to take a long time to save up all that money. Uh, ooh. A fish attractor. This will be good. I need that. I need everything. What order should I get these things? Because if I spend some money now on some beads, like these, I need this and this. I need all the beads. What can I afford? I can afford those. Where, where are these called? Kukui? Kuku Kukui nut? All right. Oh, I do need to get that though too, so. All good stuff. And I think we need to learn about plants for Nancy, but you know what? We're just gonna have a little bit of fun. And we're gonna start by collecting some more shovels, just because. I like them. I'm not found too many interesting ones, to be honest, in my days. I do, I did collect some sand dollars as a kid. Those are fun. Tide pools. Tide pools, I think, are more fun. You know, coconut starfish and watching little crabs go by. Okay. I'm gonna collect a bunch of fish. Or a fish for a bunch of fish. At least as long as I, you know, pull it out at the right time, then I catch something every time. So it's not like we're wasting me. Yes! That's good. So that's worth two. Yeah, this one's worth two. Two points. Great. Wings of quality. It's gonna be a little get comfortable. Hmm. This book was inspired. Yes! Inspired by the Nancy Drew book, Mystery on Maui. It's from the paperback digest main series. I don't remember if I read that book or not. I think I have it. I should read it and do a comparison. That's all we're gonna catch. There are only four types of fish in this area of the ocean. Only. And they're all these right now. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this section so you don't have to keep watching me. I got one! Fish. So, here we go. Let's just speed it up for your time. our necklace making and then we'll turn in our well let's turn in the fish first hey what's going on got you some more fish let's see looking good there you go okay what else I'll check back with you later sounds good oh I got just enough for snorkeling but not enough to get more bait. <gasps> we should get snorkeling. Or we get better... Mm, 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 mm. 
Decisions, decisions. Let's. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I mean, let's just go ahead and uh, buy some more gear so that we can, you know. Um, we need more bait, though. That's a thing. Uh, let's go with the expensive one. The red herring something or other here. All right, we're out of money now. Let's see what we can make for necklaces. Uh, we don't have this fancy green one. Can't do that. You know, if we look at the centerpiece here, uh, we don't have the red beads or the glass beads. We don't have that one. Uh, we could do this one. Sure. Stringing beads. That is a relaxing hobby. Through with that one. All right, can I make any more? Uh, we need only two of these blue ones. Uh, we bought the kukui. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Please comment below if I am mispronouncing it. Okay, we're really gonna need those red beads for this bird of paradise. Shark tooth? Shark bite? Oh, I need a shark tooth. Mm, we almost have enough for the thunder cloud, but we also need those beads too. Oh my goodness. All right, so there's one necklace of that. You know what? We're gonna go fishing again. Actually, we're gonna collect shells and then we're gonna go fishing. This is just a relaxing thing to do. So I might. Oh, hey. I'll um, I'll speed it up again for you to do <laughs> my laborious, boring fishing adventure. Because I want to be able to get all the stuff in this game this time. Alright, here we go. Oh, we've got the new bait. Or lure. What is it called? Look at that! A gummy herring. Red herring super bait. Or red herring super bait. It looks like a gummy fish. I want to eat it. Alright, let's go fishing. I noticed that with the new lure that I've got, it really cuts down on the time that the fish bite. So it's very handy to buy that early on. It's a wise choice for me to get that first so that we can enhance, speed up the time that we spend fishing. Look at that view. Isn't that lovely? So much green. It's a wonder it's not raining here. All right, let's turn in the fish. Hey, what's going on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. The sound of a coin. Ooh, four for the Ulua. We gotta get the fancy bait next time. Okay, what else? I was told that if I turn this necklace into you, I can get some big island bucks? You can if you made it right. Let me take a look. Nice job. Here are your big island bucks. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll check back with you later. Sounds good. All right. Forget Nancy. We are, um, we're um having fun here. All right, before I spend money on stuff, I need to make sure I have enough money for more bait. That comes first. All right, we still. <gasps> we could go. Snor no, no, we're not gonna go snorkeling right now. We're gonna stock up on what we need first. All right, we need one of these. We need these. 
Um, let's go ahead and get that and that. And we've got 19, 19 left. Do we have all those? Yeah. So we're missing like three special ones. And uh, I think it's Wiki Wiki TV thing that gives us a shark too. Let's go and try it out. Uh, you know, we should also play, play, get some shave ice. Mm. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna do all the flavors, and you can do three. So we'll do this, this set first, then this set, then this set. Um, but out of curiosity, this is watermelon, lemon, and lime. Oh, look at that! It's so pretty. That should do it. Excellent. Yum. Did I keep it or eat it? I guess I ate it. Look at this, right? <gasps> What's this? Ooh, invoice for Davies Pawn Shop at Kona, Hawaii. It's a lot of money in cash for three items that are not even described. We should call that phone number. Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. Does that happen a lot? Couple times a year. Soon as they see me, they run like heck, but today I wasn't around, so... <laughs> Somebody figured he'd help himself. Is anything missing? Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. You want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. Good talking to you. Anytime. Okay. Let's play a really annoying game. This looks like it might be kind of fun. Okay, so this operates. Okay, so Ahi, which is fire, defeats earth. Water defeats fire. Earth defeats water. Okay. Alright, so all we have to do is power it up. And then we pick any one of these buttons. Computer. And it is totally randomized what happens in the computer side of things. Totally randomized. But it, you know, it plays like rock, paper, scissors. Player. Computer. Hi. Okay. Ties are time waste. Player. Computer. I don't know how many we have. Player. Computer. No. No. Player. Uh -huh. Computer. Okay, now we're tied. Player. Computer. Nah, a tie. Player. Computer. No. Player. Computer. Here's a theory. The computer picks these in order. Blue, red, green. And they just picked red, so are they going to pick green again? It's a theory. Player. Green. Computer. Lucky guess? Hey, how about that? I won something. Yay, the shark tooth. Awesome. Okay, what do we got? We got 17 left here. Oh, we 
got 17 and we can, well, this is kind of a, a tedious thing to do, so let's just start with the first. Hey, this will cost you a big island butt, pal. <laughs> I think that was Lonnie Manila's voice. And where do I put the money in? Right here. Oh, fun. Okay. 40,000 gods and goddesses. I think. Oh, fun! Devi's Wakane, the creator of the other Akua, the other gods, okay. Oh, fun! Goddess of Thor, Coral Goddess, who? Pele was the goddess of the volcano. Yeah, we learned about that. Men did all the cooking. Food to be eaten by men was to be cooked in one oven, while food for women was to be cooked in another. They, men and women would neither eat together nor worship together. Okay. Women for, were forbidden to eat coconuts, bananas, pig, and red fish. That's odd, but okay. Okay, okay, uh, what's it? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we learned about Hawaiian mythology. Um, you know, we can come back and learn about something else. You know, one lesson per visit. All right. What did we, we got? All the shells, right? Um. We were looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. We can make some necklaces. Let's make some necklaces. Can't make that. We can make that. Let's do that one. Oh, a dancing lizard. So cute. Do I have enough? Oh, I do have enough. Okay. Alright, then we do red. And then a glass one. There are these pearly, pearly ones. It off with these purple keys. Finished. Alright, what other ones can we do? We have enough for here. Oh, uh, we don't have enough for these purple ones. Let's get some more purple. Oh, we don't have this either. Okay. We need more purple. We need to collect more. Just more. And red. Purple and red. Okay. Let's buy some more bread. Do we have enough? Alright. I think we will do just like one more round of the... You can't do that! What's the matter with you? Nothing's the matter with me. You've come to my senses, that's all! I'm not gonna let you ruin everything! You hear me? I'm not! You'll do what I tell you! No! I'm not gonna listen to you ever again! Put back here. Pull up. Oh, cliffhanger. I think this is a great place to save our game and come back in the, no the next video. So, you know what? I will see you next week. On to the next video.